Sure you saw that press conference. Still no answers on the 29 MIGs. Yeah, guys, this joint press conference came across like a bilateral check-in. It was detached from the reality on the ground. As the pair spoke, there were air raid sirens sounding in the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. We heard this diplomatic and political speak from Vice President Harris. The Ukrainian people don't need that. They need anti-tank missiles. They need anti-aircraft batteries. I mean, we heard just all of this talk that you hear out of Washington about cooperation and friendship and to be nimble and swift in the response and understanding and appreciating. There are people dying as we speak on the ground in Ukraine, across this country, thousands of people. And the capital is being targeted from the ground and the air. The Ukrainians right now are calling for a no-fly zone because women and children are being bombed by Russian forces. And while we heard the vice president there talk about this hospital in Mariupol where three people, according to officials, were killed overnight in a Russian strike, she didn't talk about the consequences for that. She didn't talk about the fact that we are viewing evidence of war crimes taking place on the ground in Ukraine at the hands of an autocrat, Vladimir Putin in Russia, who is literally pushing his forces into this country, violating the sovereignty of Ukraine with no intention to stop. And that's the situation on the ground right now. The Ukrainian people need anti-tank missiles, aircraft batteries, and they are calling for a no-fly zone. They don't need thoughts and prayers.